In early 2016, Sustrans published a study that demonstrated that a cycling and walking bridge between Canary Wharf and Rotherhithe was not only feasible, but had a strong business case. There are 34 bridges over the Thames, but only one that lies to the east of Tower Bridge. Crossing the Thames today is a choice between a packed underground train, a crowded tunnel filled with cars and exhaust fumes, or paying for an expensive ferry. So crossing here between Rotherhithe and the Isle of Dogs can be a particular challenge to those wanting to travel for free by bike or foot. So today we'll be looking at a couple of options available to us. We'll be using portable air quality monitors to measure the air quality as we go along. We're going to start off in the Rotherhive Tunnel. So if you're wanting to cycle from Rotherhive to Canary Wharf, that's currently the closest option, about 10 minutes away. So as you saw, it's pretty cramped in there. The air quality is pretty horrible. You can literally taste the pollution from the cars. There isn't much space for you to move around, so you're stuck in between the cars. If, I, would, I would probably worry quite a lot about my health if I was to make that journey. Uh, on a regular basis. So next we're going to head to the Greenwich Foot Tunnel. So with the Greenwich Foot Tunnel, obviously the air quality was a lot nicer, though it was a lot longer. So if I wanted to get from Rotherham to the Isle of Dogs, it's already been a 20 minute cycle to get here, and let alone on top of that you've got to get off your bike and walk. So. In general, it's a lot slower. That's the, that's the main issue with this option, really. Um, so next, we're gonna to go to Tower Bridge um, and check out the overground option. So we just cycled over Tower Bridge. The air quality is a lot better than Rotherhive Tunnel, though we're still in amongst traffic, so it's not perfect. It's faster than the Greenwich Foot Tunnel, though, depending where you're going to, it could be a bit of a detour. Uh, so finally we're going to check out Millennium Bridge to see how a traffic-free route compares. So we just crossed Millennium Bridge. We're not having to share the space with traffic, so it felt a lot more comfortable. The air quality felt better. While it's more pleasant, it doesn't provide the same quality level of service as a bridge that caters for both walking and cycling. A cycling and walking bridge between Canary Wharf and Rotherhive would offer the best possible journey experience for those on foot or bike. The Millennium Bridge does illustrate how a traffic-free option provides a much more pleasant experience without having to breathe in exhaust fumes. So today gave us a basic indication of how limited the crossing options are. So if you want to get from Rotherhive to the Isle of Dogs, the options are either taking you quite a lot out of your way, they feel a bit dangerous, or the air quality is very good. The bridge that is free from traffic, exhaust fumes, open to all for 24 hours a day will change the way that Londoners live.